Welcome back to Sportsbook Review Videos. Out of our three NBA picks total on Monday evening, we cashed two of them for another winning evening. We are 8-3 and three cashing in our last 11 NBA picks dating back to this week, and I am back once again here on the short-slated Tuesday evening to give you my two NBA best bets. And we will start it off with the marquee game of the evening, the Oklahoma City Thunder playing host to the Houston Rockets. Now, once again, should be a very good game, but the sportsbooks come in with the Thunder as a 10-point favorite, and if anything, it will once again remind the Thunder that that uh, they're paying a ton of money this season, the third highest payroll in the NBA. They probably could have still had James Harden. They were willing to shell out that money just a couple of years ago, considering they're paying Enos Cantor and Serge Ibaka a combined $28 million this season. Either way, uh, we go back to tonight's game in this one. And uh, with both teams coming in on some nice rest, both uh, coming off of two days complete rest here heading into this game, I actually think the total here is a better bet than the spread here at 10 points is a pretty sharp number for this game. But at 222 to 223 points, depending on which one you're looking at here, could be a very good play on the over here, despite the total being very, very large. The uh, Rockets this season have been very consistent cashing the over, not only on the road, but on the road against the Western Conference. They are giving up 109 points per game total in their 36 road games this season. However, in their last 10 conference road games, this team has given up an average of 116 points per game. And uh, the Rockets also... Uh, if you take out that blowout win against the uh, Memphis Grizzlies, uh, where they uh, only gave up 85 or 80 points or so to a really banged up Grizzlies team, and for the last five, they've given up 117 points per game. Flip that over to the Oklahoma City Thunder, who have been basically unstoppable uh, here recently on offense. In their last four games heading into this one, they have averaged 121 points. And with the pace that the Rockets play in, this game should be very fast, up and down, lots of transition baskets, especially with Russell Westbrook just absolutely decimating the uh, Houston Rockets transition defense. I really Really like the over here despite the number being pretty high. Uh, Rockets, like I said, are 9-3 and three cash in the over when playing on 2-3 days rest, and 23-13 uh, and 13 cash in the over on the road this season. Take the over at 222. Next up is the Memphis Grizzlies and the Los Angeles Lakers in this one, and the uh, Grizzlies come in as a three-point road favorite in this one, coming off the back-to-back, -back, getting a win last night, comeback variety where they dropped 64 points in the second half against the Phoenix Suns. Now they come in against the Los Angeles Lakers, a three-point favorite, total of 202 points. And while uh, most would suspect the way the Grizzlies have been banged up here recently, that maybe they might be a, not a great play here coming off the back-to-back -back cover. They've been very good on no rest this season against the spread. 11 and 5 against the number at 69% cash rate here on no rest this season. They're also 10 and 6 against the spread as an away favorite. They've cashed their last three games in a row against the spread, and they are still being undervalued here by the sports books because of how injured they are. Yes, they're without Marcus Gasol and Mike Conley, their two best players. However, Zach Randolph, double double and a triple double in his last two games. Matt Barnes has been playing well. Lance Stevens has been playing well. They're getting pretty good production as well from their fill in point guards, Ray McCallum and Briante Weber two guys that they have just recently signed. They have enough to beat this Los Angeles Lakers team, especially if Kobe Bryant does not play in this one here. So I think the uh, Grizzlies get him at minus three before the number goes up. Add it to your NBA picks. Best of luck to you on that one. Make sure you check back tomorrow here for more, some more NBA best bets. But until then, for Sportsbook Review, I'm Jordan Sharp.